What's going on, fellas? I'm going to do something kind of stupid here. I'm going to test the temperature of an acetone oxyhydrogen flame. This may damage the thermocouple. I almost know it will. I'm going to stop when I get it to the thermocouple limit. But just to show that this thing will indeed hit the thermocouple limit, I'm going to go ahead and do it. All right, hell with it. Let's see if we can get it to top the alarm off here. A little disappointed in that. So this is one hot ass four steps for sure. Oh yeah, it's just climbing into the stratosphere there. Okay, so 4,000 basically, or 2,400 is the limit, I guess. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So anyway, uh, just for perspective, propane torch can get nowhere near that. That's an oxidized flame, so obviously it's going to do that. Now, a pure oxyhydrogen flame would have melted that thermocouple. I may have already damaged it. I just had to see that. Pretty cool, though. I'm also going to do some flame test temperatures on these other uh, burners. Believe it or not, one of these is way hotter than the other. That'll be coming up in the next video. I don't have time to do it tonight. But uh, that's what we got next. Pretty interesting findings there. So that was cool. I'm glad to see that this thing was fairly easily able to max out this uh, thermocouple. Just goes to show you the flame size doesn't mean nothing. I'd like to get a thermocouple capable of actually measuring the, the, the max temperature. If anyone has any advice on um, what they suggest in doing that, let me know.